Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Limitless Airline Manager where this game allows you to run, manage and maintain your very own airline company. Now the reason we're back in this boys is because they've dropped an update which brought three new planes to the game which I'm not bothered about the two other planes. There's one plane in this brand new update that I really want to check out and I'll tell you why in just a moment. But before we get into it, if you do enjoy this, want to see more of Limitless Airline Manager on the channel, smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're not already, so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But last time I played this, I created my very own cargo airline company, okay? It went really well. We made a ton of cash money moolah. These are the planes. Hold on. My planes right now that I currently got. So many of the ballerinas. Which the ballerinas, if I can remember correctly, are they air van? Yes. They are these. They're basically the Airbus um, cargo planes, the big boy belugas. That's pretty much what it is in the game. Now, we're going to sell every single one of these because they've dropped a new plane that I want to transform my company to start using this type of aircraft. And you may be wondering, Yo, Senek, what is the airplane? I'm about to show you right now. I'm about to show you. When I seen it, I was like, wait, what is this? Then I kind of clicked in my brain what it was, and it's amazing. So if you go to Bounce, which I think Bounce is meant to be Boeing in the game, and there's a plane here called the Weightlifter. Can you see where they get the name from? The Weightlifter. You see where they get the name from? It's meant to be... Uh, you can tell by the tail right now. The tail says 74... Uh, 74... 848, which is meant to be a 747. Get it? Bowen. It looks like a 747 mixed with a beluga, doesn't it? It's really weird. I like it. Uh, and it's a cargo plane. It's a heavy plane. It carries 125 tons. Uh, it costs 2.7 million. Now, I could technically buy one. But I'm not going to buy one, boys. I'm going to buy lots. So, I reckon what we need to do... Oh, it's got very dark very quickly. I reckon what we need to do is first get rid of all the planes that I currently have. Uh, so if I go bulk action, if I select all of these right now, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Uh, right click. There we go. And then if I sell the planes, I'm going to get 11 million, which is nowhere near the money that I paid for them. But it's okay. Because in return, we're now going to buy a bunch of these bounce um, eight. Four eights. It's still weird to say that. Weightlifters. If you can guess what the actual real name's meant to be, let me know in the comment section down below. And I love heart every single one of those comments that you guys kind of get right, okay? We'll see what you guys kind of come up with. It's so obvious, but I want to see how many people can get it right. So, we're going to buy... I'm actually going to buy one of them to begin with. We'll buy one, right? Very, very expensive, okay? Very, very expensive right now. And I think what we'll do is we'll get it all set up. So in my planes right now, I've only got one cargo plane, which is now my weightlifter, boys. It lifts to weight. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change um, all the statistics on it and where it delivers to and from. Now, it can't go to every airport because, one, it needs to be cargo, and, two, it needs to be able to uh, handle what's going on. But uh, Furu Sato, if I say pronounce it, International Airport, has got 100% needing for it. And then the destination he's going to fly to is going to be Rockville. So they're the best percentages that we've currently got right now to carry maximum cargo to make maximum livery. So we're going to try and spawn ourselves over there. We'll pick, quickly pick a captain and a first officer. All good, all good, all good. And then we're going to go and head over there right now. So where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's all the way up here. It's all the way up here. So spawn over there real quickly. So we can see the glorious airport. Am I stuck inside? No, there we go. There we go, boys. Big boy airport, okay? Big boy airport. Where's the runway? There's a runway. There's double runways. There's double runways. So let's have a little bit of a fast forward until daytime. And then we'll set the, the plane loose and see how much money we make. We need to make back our 2.7 million as quick as possible. If I don't, I'm losing money. But I also need to be able to buy lots more planes, so... We, we need to be making some serious cash. We really do. So back into normal play mode then. It's now daytime almost. And let's set this plane loose. So, I've now enabled the plane. I'm assuming it's going to spawn from here. Um, I'm trying to see right now if we can see it. Where's the cargo side of it? Where does it spawn from? 
Wait, it's not going to spawn at the Rockville place first, is it? I'm not sure. Let me have a little fast forward. It low-key could, you know. It low-key could. Oh, there's my plane. Is that my plane there? Let me go to rock real quick. Right. It's difficult to see. Right. L let me view the plane. Is it already flying? Ah, no. It's literally just came out right now. So, it's got the maximum 125 tons of cargo currently on board right now. Right. Can I get, get rid of these screens, boys? Maximum cargo now on. Look at this puppy. Look at this puppy right now. This is going to be mahoosive. So we need to figure out how much it makes per flight when it's full. Now, not every flight is going to be full, but at least we get to find out what the maximum monies we are going to make is going to be. So let's have a look a huge fast forward right now, a times 30. We'll do a times 30 and see what we can kind of get up with. Like that plane is now flying, boys. It's now seriously flying. And I think this is one of the longest destinations it's got to fly to. It's got to go quite some distance to get to this uh, this airport all the way over here. So it comes down and lands. And how much do we get? We've got to wait for it to get to its destination, right? we just got to wait right now. Taxi in. And another day's done. The day has already ended. That's how crazy this is. So how much do we make, boys, on this first journey completely filled to the brim? 156,000. Now, you may be thinking, that's not really a lot of money, boys. It's not really a lot of money. And yes, it, it is not really a lot of money. How do I no, no longer focus on the plane? There we go. So I'm back over here right now. It's not really huge amounts of cash. Am I in the right airport? I have a, a slight feeling I'm not in the right airport. Right, F, FST to ROC. FST, I'm here. I can't even zoom out. What's going on? Right, there we are. We're at the wrong airport. We're literally at the wrong airport. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn right now. We'll fast forward that. And as heavy, cycle through, making as much cash as we pretty much can with the cargo. Keep it cycling it through. And then we're going to try and buy in a couple more planes. So we'll play it safe. And what we'll do is we'll buy two more, okay? We'll buy two more. So if I put in number of planes here, two, buy the two. Right, and get out of here. There we go. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to set the planes up for flight. Now, can I change how much we charge? You can. But the max you can set it is 1,304. Now, the higher you set it, the less like you are to fill the plane. So you got to be careful. We might as well just kind of keep it the same. So if I select both these planes with the bulk action, if I uh, swap the pilots, if I set the destinations, destination one. Uh, ooh, we'll fly these differently. We've got to uh, KAS2 PLN. Boom. Different destinations, boys. Different destinations. And if I set them all active and now let them to fly out, right, they're flying different places, boys. Different places, but we need to make sure that we are turning a profit. Because if we're not turning a profit, there's no point us being in business, if I'm completely honest with you. So we've got 6.4 million currently in the bank right now. We, we hopefully need to see that slowly increase. Obviously, we're going to keep paying stuff out. You know, pilot uh, fees and co-pilot fees. Um, we're also paying out fuel costs. We'll eventually have to repair the planes. Don't get me wrong. But now it's a 6.6 .6 million. It's not a huge amount of money. But we will hold on to that cash as much as we can. I won't reinvest it too much right now. And we'll just kind of see what we can kind of get up with. So I know one of the planes are flying over here. But I know two of our planes are flying to Cass. So I'm going to spawn at Cass right now. We're here, boys, which I believe it is. A, is it a cargo airport in general anyway? I'm not too sure, but I'll wait here until we see the two planes land. It shouldn't be too long, boys. It shouldn't be too long right now. We got 6.5 million, so we're kind of floating around making money, not making money. We want to get comfortably into the 7 millions in cold, hard cash uh, before I buy my next plane, my next Boeing Beluga combo. <laughs> it is a Boeing Beluga combo, isn't it? Right, I'm at the Cass Airport right now. What's going on, boys? It's Casson Regional. Really? A cargo plane lands here? Are they sure about that? I feel like no cargo plane's coming here right now. Are they lying to me? I'm watching the little mini-map right now to see where these other two planes go to. Unless I, like, I'm just they're super delayed right now. That is not the Cass Airport. What are they talking about? I don't think I did select Cass Airport, did I? Am I stupid? I think I might be stupid, boys. I think I might slightly be stupid right now. They're not going to the airport. Uh, ignore what I just said, okay? Ignore what I just said. So we've got 6.9 million. The bank balance is going up. You can see the graph right now increasing. That's really good. 
So that gives me a little bit of confidence in knowing that I could maybe push it right now and buy a fourth plane of these Boeing Beluga combos. That's all they'll be known as to me right now is Boeing Beluga combos. That's all they'll be known to me as. So I think I might have enough money to buy two more. Yes, but it's putting me at risk of going bankrupt. So I bought two more, right? Now this is dangerous, I bought two more. We're gonna bulk action them. We're going to swap the pilots out. We're gonna set the destination. So destination one, we're gonna go from, ooh, we'll go from FST on that one and somewhere different on this one. We'll go to PLN, ROC. We'll go PLN, which I think it's this airport here. Then set them active, and then we'll see how we get on. Right. I'm kind of slightly nervous about this one. So two air folios now just come in and landed. Perfect. We might see two more momentarily. But now it's all about earning cash. Because the current planes that I bought at the start now need to be repaired. Which is not good for me. But I'll wait until they fully need to be repaired before I do spend the cash. It's about trying to recuperate the money that I've now just spent. That is the goal. That is the goal. So I don't actually don't know what airport I'm currently at right now. So where are they flying to? So plane. I'm calling this the plane airport. It's plan. And these guys are flying to plan as well. So yes, they're all going here. Two airfolios and two more. There's four airfolios at the same airport right now. This is good. So we're taking a huge drop in our revenue, as you can see. I can always bite it. Which that's where I spent the money on the two planes. So it's it's about right now trying to get the, the bar shooting back up again. But we've got to be wary about if any of these planes do go out of operation. Because we've got to fix them. Get them back in the skies. We have to also switch out the pilots as well. That's something else. But also keep track of the destinations that we don't fall short. Because if the destinations drop in terms of um, their percentage of, of, of um, demand and capacity and cargo. It means we do make less money per flight. So we got to make sure that we're always on top of things. So, money is definitely increasing. I've now got 3.3 .3 million in the bank, but it's when I've got to start repairing is when the prices start hitting me. And we've got a little notification here about this one plane. Now, what is the issue with it? It is too damaged. So, to repair it, it's gonna cost me 1.3 million. That's half the price of a brand new plane. That really is. But what I could do now, right, if I do a bulk action, it's quicker to do it this way, is I can swap the pilots, set the destination to a new destination. So we'll go rock to plan. There we go. And set active. That's now getting back out there and straight away making money. I know it's been maintained so we can go a full journey with new pilots and first officers. No issues, boys. But other planes now have issues. Oh, no. The first officer wants a break on this one. So if I just quickly swap out the pilots, set active, I haven't got to do anything then. I haven't got to do anything then. So I haven't got to spend any repair money. We can kind of get away with it for a little bit longer. But I'm not too sure how much longer we would be able to get away with it. So money dropping down again. Not looking good. You can kind of see here that the... Hold on, my chair's in the way. The, uh, how low that is to where the graph kind of went up. Yeah. Right, another plane, broken. It is a, another uh, pilot first officer scenario, which I'll take that over actually having to repair the planes and I'll set active. I won't change, right, the destinations until we have to maintain and repair the plane because I can then leave it on a, a, a new route, maxed out for days with no issues. Right, we're now flying, flying, boys. We're now flying, flying. So we're trying to creep the money back up after that big repair bill. And this is where the real grind now kicks in. You are now playing the waiting game. We do have uh, five planes in total, but now we are starting to see the issue. So two damaged, two damaged, oh no. So both of these, I'm now gonna have to, okay, you can't oh, repair all two points. That's a brand new plane. That is the cost of a brand new plane right now. Oh, uh, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. Swap the pilot. Set destinations. So now we'll set new destinations. Plane to FST. There we go. Set active. But hopefully now. I've got 100. Uh, this is the lowest amount of money I've had in the bank to this point. That is the lowest amount of money I've had in the bank to this point right now. 
We need to really ramp up. I'm now in debt. I'm now officially in debt. Right, can you air folio planes? Um, how do I put this? Make me some cash right now! Oh, good god. I could do some catering, but there's no point doing catering right now, because... They're cargo planes, okay? They're cargo planes right now. We are in debt. We are in debt. And I can't seem to get out of debt. This is not good news. It's not good news. This is not good news. So let me check the map. Planes are flying. So you can kind of then view this and see where they're landing to know when you're about to get a big bulk of money coming in. So two planes flying in here. To the stands. Make a little bit of cash. And yeah. If I had another plane that came in right now need needing to be repaired, I can't repair it. I don't have the money. I just don't have the money. And it just the money doesn't seem to want to grow. It doesn't seem to want to grow right now. I need at least 2.7 million to be able to repair two planes. But it ain't growing, boys. Which makes me think... Some of the planes aren't making max cash. So we're going to have to set some of the destinations. So if I just do all of them at the same time right now. Uh, wait, right click to open menu. Oh no, we have to wait for them to... Actually, let me count, stop them all. Right, there we go. Select them all. We're going to set the destinations and go to the most highest percentage plan. So the next highest percentage, FST. Let's do this. Let's actually do this. Set active. So they're all spawning from over here right now. Well, they spawn back and forth. They'll go back and forth. So this is one of the airports that they're going to go to. So you also, I mean, plan to FST. It is one of the longer journeys. If you get plan to rock, it's so short. You can do multiple flights in a single day. So we really need to rank or wrap up the numbers. Um, we've got four planes now departing here. Three more still to go. But oh no, we've got an alert. We've got alerts that planes need to be repaired. This is going to go downhill. This is honestly going to go downhill, boys. It really is. But as the planes land, you should see how much we then earn. Any minute now. 130, 113, 159. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We've got nearly half a million in the bank. But I'm waiting for that alert. There you go. We've got an alert. Is it repairs? It needs to be repaired. And guess what? I've got minus money. Have I legit just bankrupt my cargo airline company? Honestly? I think I have. I think I've honestly bankrupted my cargo airline company. There's not anything I can do right now. This plane is also too damaged. I need 2.7 million to repair both of those planes. Guys, someone send help. I need cash and quick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe it's not a good idea to send them the most furthest distance away. I've got another alert coming in right now that another plane needs to be repaired. And I'm still not making any cash. I am still not making any cash right now. It's downhill for me, boys. It's all downhill for me from right now. Right, we have to end it here, guys. If you want to see me try and resurrect my brand new cargo company, smash that like button down below. Let me know in the comment section. Subscribe. But until next time, as I'm going to cry, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.